Hey folks, DC7 here, and welcome back to Farming Simulator 2013. We're here on the Landwork Canal map, and we are running in more realistic with the Forest mod, as well as something else I've added that we'll get to in a minute. You'll notice I got a whole bunch of straw and a little tiny bit of grass. Uh, a couple of interesting things on my way to the straw market. Um, the device I was using, the little harvester unit, Boy, that thing's noisy. It's not turned on. Um, that little harvestry unit that we used for grass. Well, I decided to get rid of that. And a very interesting thing happened. I took it to the store and sold it. That wasn't really that interesting. And I bought a... Um, what do you call it? Forage wagon. Yeah, it's actually, I think, at the pig farm. Oh, I forgot to put vehicle group. I've got the mod. I forgot to put it in the mod pack. Yeah, I got rid of mod commander, too. Um, just various reasons for that. Oops, that's a little low on the sound. Huh, just loud birds. Um, yeah, I got rid of mod commander. It... When I'm running two or three maps at a time, maybe I'll use it, but when I'm not, I'm not sure that it's quite working the way I'd like it to. But anyway, that's another story. On with my grass thing. So, I sold that unit just mainly in favor of the fact that everything in MR takes longer. So there's an awful lot of things I do off screen. I mean, you don't really want to see the physical two hours that it's going to take me to seed this particular field. I might show you finishing the field or starting the field and then go on to something else, but I've still got the other, you know, yeah, hour and 53 minutes worth of doing to get it finished. So, but that's fine. That's the way it is. Pretty dim here for seven in the morning today. Kind of weird. Um, but So I thought I'd get rid of that particular unit, because it is sort of one more step, and a forage a forage wagon will do that step all in one, right? So I got rid of it, and I got us a forage wagon. First strange thing I noticed, um, <laughs> I cut the exact same field with the exact same mowers, and uh, the last time, I got about 27,000 liter of grass off that field. Not great, it didn't go that far, and we had none left to store. With the forage wagon, oddly enough, I got two full... Or no, what was it? One full wagon, and it's 53,000 liters plus another 30,000 on top of that, off the same field. So, might seem a little weird. Well, it is a little weird. <laughs> that would be my thing. So yeah, w I thought it was a little bit light on the grass, so I have a feeling that the other... See, I know numbers are adjusted for MR, right? Um, you know, seeds cost more, this costs less, that costs more. Some things ridiculously so, some only a little bit so. And I'm thinking that's what the thing is, is that that particular harvester, see this is the big ginormous forage wagon, so I got this thing full plus over half full again. Yeah. So, I did that. Um, so that's awesome. I managed to top up the sheep, and uh, we've got a little bit put away, and I filled the mixer. We actually have some complete rations done now, some total mixed rations. The other thing that was weird is that forage wagon. Now, I harvested a couple of the fields down here that didn't belong to us, just a couple of wheat fields. Just get some crop in, nobody's using it. And what was kind of odd there is I filled that forage wagon up a couple times and hauled it home, and that was fine, right? Um, dumped it off, brought it back down, blah, blah, blah. I filled it with grass, and none of my tractors could take it up the hill. I kid you not, none of them could do it, no matter what I tried. I even put the big duels back onto the uh, 370 horse uh, IH that I'm running. Wouldn't do it. 
would get most of the way up to about where the uh, uh, mixing unit is and that was it it would just start to slip so harshly that you were done for <laughs> so that wasn't too great but um, what I ended up doing is I went down to the pig farm and I used alt dumped and I emptied the full one off to the side somewhere like where I could get at it with the uh, uh, telehandler and then oops, around the other side I want to cut a couple of trees down while I'm here so uh, oh was it yeah so yeah I ended up dumping it down there and then when I got to the one that had considerably less I believe this is yes it is a workable tree perfect so I'm not gonna fall on our gear sudden way down here okay um so yeah none of my tractors although they hauled it filled with straw got the same numbers it was 50 something thousand so although they filled it with straw and I got it up there no problem with grass no way none of them would do it so I thought yeah <laughs> That's uh, just a little weird. Okay, I don't like where that's going. What the heck? Oh! <laughs> Oops! Oh, man. Sorry. What is this? Oh, I think it's like some sports club or something. Oh, it's the local rugby team. Yeah, we're going to get this puppy out of here. Yes, sirree. Wow. There we go. Nope. All right. Can I reach that? Tell me I can at least reach this. There we go. Oh. Yes. Oh no, that stuck well. <laughs> Okie dokie. I can probably get it down with the telehandler, you know. Hmm. Well. <laughs> Alrighty then. <laughs> We're off to a good start. So. Like I said, I had to actually uh, dump that off. I wasn't that impressed with that. So I'm not sure why that is. But absolutely no way would my tractors haul those up there. And uh, yeah, that's a little worrisome. So unfortunately, um, if we look at what we have for really powerful tractors, and we do certainly have some, let me tell you. So let's have a quick look here at that, shall we? Mods, placeables, sales. How did I skip past it? By brand, by animals, placeables. There we go. So if we have a look, let's get in. All right. Our biggest dudes, the, the this guy, the EX at 168,000. 330 horse. That's not bad. But again, we've got. A little better than that and it's not quite doing it so we get into these guys well here's a these things are a quarter million dollars on sale right 660 horse but they're six hundred dollars a day right we can get into this guy 487 horse but 330 grand and then our only other choice is to go way down here bum, 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 to this guy 535 horse for 300 a day but again it's 300 grand so <laughs> I don't know the uh, I had not expected that and I tried everything I could to get that up there believe me absolutely so uh, I'm just gonna uh, queakery 
see if I can't uh, get this bit of log off the roof. Because <laughs> that's not going to look good on anybody's resume, right? No. See if we can't pop that down over here and finish playing with it. There we go. <laughs> okay, we didn't do any damage to their building, so I don't think they'll ever know. Lovely. park it back up there and make sure that ooh oh my god we, oh no okay <laughs> all right we're okay we didn't do that look buddy it's all over your building can't you see that hmm so I did forget to bring the trailer with me darn it oh well let's just get the rest of these cut up Now I do have a big long trailer, but you know what? I think I'm going to sell it. And go with the smaller bits for now. Mainly because most of the roads and stuff here are really not set up for long, big stuff. Which is why I'm probably going to try and get the Zirian at some point as opposed to the uh, 500 horse. Just because I know that 500 horse is really hard to drive. And that brings us to the other thing. You may have noticed when I climbed in to our little class here that we had a new set of numbers up here. Right underneath class Scorpion 7040. Yes, I have installed the newest version and the MR ready version of the damage mod. Oh, I forgot to clean that piece up. So we now have the damage mod. So I've got to be very, very careful. And you're all going, yeah, we've seen you. You can't drive worth a darn in this game. And it's going to cost you millions. I actually played around with it for a bit. And they seem to have done quite well. Um... Come on. There we go. Yeah, they seem to have done quite well, so I think it's going to work out. I do, I do. There we go. So we got a few logs cut here. What I didn't do, like I said, unfortunately, was bring a trailer. Hmm. Well, I will have to do so. Da 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 da. It's a little bit of a walk to the pig farm. But that's not an issue. We will be there momentarily. See, I'm not sure what to make of the uh, the whole the grass is doing funny things to my mind a bit. <laughs> not at all. But we shall see. If nothing else, it certainly was an improvement to uh, get that quantity off this thing. And that's a little more like it, because this is a pretty darn big field. You know, and if I think about all the other grass I've cut on these fields, then, uh, wahoo, look, giant potato stash, yay. <laughs> all the other grass, it makes far more sense that I would have gotten that amount. So yeah, right over here, as you can see, using the uh, alt tip, and this nice big pile of grass, some 55,000. So, yeah, that works for me. Uh, I have given the piggy, I have no idea where I'm going. I gave the piggy some water, so I should be able to simply dump some taters in here now. If 
fact, in the interest of doing things as they come along, and the fact that this is why we never get anything done, because we do 500 things. Um, briefly forgot what I was doing. But, I remember now. There we go. All potatoed up, as it were. Oh, I know what I came here for. I need to grab one of my forest tractors and the trailer. Ha ha ha. Yes, indeed. Okay, that's where grains go. And I believe, now that we have water, it should accept speditos. Is it this one or that one? I think it's that one, actually. I looked at the uh, PDF, but again, it's one of those deals where, you know, it's all like German and stuff, so. Hmm. Let's go to our, uh, not prices, there we go. Let's see if we can find pigs, cows, sheep, chickens, pigs. Uh, and as you can see, earth roots totaled zero. And hmm. I was pretty sure that they showed the trigger right here. Nothing? No. You can actually see a bin of them back here. Again, nothing. Hmm. Water. Oh yeah, 971. I thought for a minute there it said zero of one for some reason. So, well, that's kind of puzzling. Suppose we could try here. not getting any triggers. I suppose I could have that on and see if anything pops up. No. Hmm. Well, if anybody knows what it is, because, like I said, I have given them water, and as far as I know with these pig fattening, that's what it takes. So, yeah, if anybody uh, has had any luck, I don't see anything. No, I'm not getting any sort of triggers. So yeah, if anybody has played this map and can clue me in on how to get me poor little piggies fed. No, it's not that trough thing. Oh well, as I say, yeah, help would be appreciated. <laughs> Because I gave them lots of water, and that's usually what it takes. Now, I mean, maybe they just haven't triggered one yet. That's a possibility. So, I will try again at a later date. In the meantime, that's a making me crazy. Let's grab this great big puppy here. We can close this, I think. And... Oh, yeah. Oops, it's got the inverted insides. Ooh, I don't like that. Okay, we're not gonna be inside. Everything else works normally, right? Yep, okay. We can just hear the power on this one. That's really too bad that the inside is inverted. There we 
go. Oh, I like the little animation on the trailer there. So what else we got? We can enable the IC. Alright, well, let's have a look here. I mean, while we're here... Oof, that's so confusing. So, let's enable the IC. Nothing happens. Alrighty. Oh, no wonder. Now, let's try it. There we go. What do we got? We can open a door. Uh, nothing up there. That's fine. This side. Just the doors. Okay, so we basically we can uh, we've got lights and we've got doors. All right. So oh, that is just yeah, freaky. Oh, well, that's not the right forest, is it? No. Oh, well, kind of is. We just need to go down the other end. There we go. Oh, this is one of them bouncy ones. I don't think we'll be keeping this tractor. I might just keep the uh, JCB in the other one. So, I do believe... Is there any sort of walking script mentioned on this trailer? No, really? No? That's okay. Whoa, yeah. I think we'll be uh, taking this down the street and selling it. that whole Farming Simulator 2011 conversion thing that uh, centers the camera. Uh. On the vehicle instead of the ground. Like, I want my vehicle to bounce on the terrain, I don't want the ground to bounce around the vehicle, which is what it does with these ones. And I really can't handle that. Plus the fact that I think that JCB we've got will do just fine. It's all kitted out as a forest model. Probably even has some extra things on it. And we are going to get nice money for that. So we're almost at 200 grand. We're not that far away from getting a hooper powerful tractor. I think we'll get the Zirian, like I said. That may, may prove to be in our best interests. So, there's our uh, service vehicle. So if we ever need something repaired, we can call him. There's also a garage. I <laughs> can't... Just, uh... Over there. That blue building? Yeah. There's a garage there that we can make use of. So... Boy, I don't believe we just about uh, crushed the local rugby club. That's uh, really unfortunate. <laughs> Alright, let's see how we're doing here, shall we? most ideal, but that's eh, alright, we managed to do it without knocking any walls or anything down, so should consider it a good job. Now, uh, I've had four, and eh? whoops. Hold still for a sec, will ya? Alright, now I think we need to switch to that. There we go. Oh, no, I want both there. Much more agile. Mucho, mucho. Hmm. 
Come on, let it go. I know you wanna. Hmm. Do you wanna now? Oh, come on, don't do this to me. There we go. Thank you very much. Alright. <laughs> ah, there we go. Let's grab another nice chunky stunky piece. That wasn't open far enough to start with. There we go. Oh, that's the stump piece I was looking at. No wonder. I thought that was about center of that piece, and I didn't realize that still had the little stumpy one on it. Doesn't now. Probably switch back to that so I can actually see if the claw's engaged or not. Whoops. Whoa. Well, that's not good, is it? Here we go. <laughs> hmm, trailers might be a little bit too sticky. That's really way too much, that continuous backup noise from this thing, I'll tell you. How's that? Ooh, actually let go of it that time, I'm impressed. silliness. Let's go around the other side, shall we? So I think what I'll do is I'll load up three or four of these and then uh, when we're ready, well, three or four trees worth. And when we're ready, we'll uh, come back next episode and haul them off to the sawmill, see if we can't make ourselves some money. The goal here being, of course, we would like to have enough I think I can also make uh, about a hundred grand selling the other truck and trailer that we have. And like I said, I'd like to get enough to pick up the either one of the class Zerians or yeah, I think that works out the best. It's not quite as much horsepower as the uh, big case 600s, but it's also not uh, you know $600 a day to have it sit when you're not using it. So. I can live with a couple of hundred or so much easier than I can six, believe me. Whoops. <laughs> Alrighty, well I meant to do that. See how nicely those logs are stacked? Sure. Okay. I think, other than the stump, which I think I'm just going to, uh, oops, place over with the uh, tip for grinding which we'll get to probably next episode as well. And then uh, I'll carry on cutting them down. Like I said, I'm just going to drop this stuff for grind oats over here. 
There we go. Lovely. And I think that's going to do her, guys. Until next time. Stop. Stop. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. <clears throat> so yeah, until next time, this has been Species 7 for Farming Simulator with more realistic and forest and damage and all that good stuff. So, there's one tree dealt with. <clears throat> that never happened. And like I said, I think I'll knock down three or four more. Hopefully I won't destroy too much public property and uh, then we'll come back and cut the stumps up so nobody knows it was us and we can call her a day. So till next time, if you liked the episode, please hit that like button. That would really help me out. Um, just because I'd like the channel to get a little bigger. You know, I'd like to have a, a larger audience. 2015 is coming. And uh, a lot of people want to see that. So, till then, thanks for your time. Hope you enjoyed. Take care of each other, folks. And ciao for now.